Hello everyone and welcome back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean. Today we look to sweep the Philadelphia Phillies. Aaron Nola on the mound for the Phillies. 3-2 and two with a 2-8-0 ERA taking on Marcus Gonzal or Marco Gonzalez. Excuse me. 4-1 and one with a 3.67 ERA. Mariners 2 uh, extra inning walk off home runs. To send Mariners fans and teammates home happy. Um, are nine games over 500, have a 2 0 series lead, and uh, have me feeling pretty good entering game number three, in which we have an opportunity to unbox, unpack, look at this big pack, fat pack of heritage baseball cards. Um, instead of the nine, you get 20. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule really quickly. Uh, we will be off tomorrow. Then we'll have the Mets on Friday. Uh, three games set against the Mets starting on Friday. We'll be in Toronto starting Monday. Boston starting Thursday for a big East Coast road trip. The day off tomorrow is going to be super helpful. We have a lot of guys low on energy and stamina. Uh, we've had some weird lineups lately. Looking forward to getting them back getting the lineup a little bit more reset back to back to normal. Uh, we have a right-handed pitcher today in Aaron Nola that we're facing get off against. Um, and uh, yeah, let's jump on in here. Full game. T-Mobile Park. Hybrid open. Hardly cloudy, though. Marco Gonzalez. J.P. Crawford. Going to have to come out of the game, but that's okay because Sam Haggerty can play shortstop. Uh, maybe we'll even throw like a Dom T. Williams in here in the DH spot. We've got a lot of cold bats here. Kyle Lewis could probably use the day off. Maybe that's where we throw. Flip those guys a little bit. Use the camera here. So we'll have Haggerty. He's a uh, he'll bat switch or bat from the left side. He is a switch uh, hitter. A little bit less power against righties than lefties, but only slightly. Uh, the reason I want him in the one spot is the speed. I should probably break this up a little bit, but I don't really want to. If I'm being honest, maybe instead of France and. Uh, God. Ty France. Yeah. You know what? It's okay. Three righties in a row isn't bad. I uh, just kind of have to hope I don't get stuck in a position where it's like, oh, three righties are going this entire uh, this entire inning. All right. Let's get into it. Gene Segura, Bryce Harper, D.D. Gregorius. Those have been uh, those have been the issues. That I have faced. Those have been the the problem players. Gregorius Hello, and um, Harper us. each have two solo home runs in this, this series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Seattle Mariners. Hi, folks. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. And now, so the Seattle Mariners have taken the first two games of this series. So we've given up six earned runs. Sweet. Every they single one of those is a solo yeah, home the run. Side, shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series all right we'll be back to get this one started after this all right just about set to go marco gonzalez on the mound seven starts a four and one record 3.67 era and 41.2 innings pitch he's given up 49 hits walked one that's good for a whip of 1.20 19 strikeouts um with the way that the difficulty right, that I've been playing with, the difficulty okay, shifting up and down, that has made the, the astronomical strikeout numbers that I've had at points uh, hard to come by. 
on the ground right side and foul ball. 18 hits, six home runs, six earned runs, all of them solo home runs, and two thirds of those belong to Gregarious and Bryce Harper. The pitch. Line drive. Base hit. And we've uh, we've given up a hit. We've given up a lot of hits. 18 hits in the first two games combined. Um, gotten out of some jams. Made some gambles that have paid off in my favor. And digging in for Philadelphia, Garrett Stubbs had the day off yesterday. But we'll see. But I think it's been a bit since we've had a sweep. I mean, I don't remember the last sweep that we've. Oh, you know what it was? It was Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay. That's the, that was the last sweep I had. Foul, foul the way. Ball. On the ground, right side, base hit. They are finding the gaps here. Another two-strike hit. That's been an issue all season. It's just, for whatever reason, it seemed more notable in this one. Perhaps it's because I've given up so many home runs. Here's Bryce Harper. And that one hit to first. Harper with out. Good news for the Mariners and for myself uh, and fans of this series. We've been behind in both of the games so far, able to come back and pull out some wins. So falling behind early isn't necessarily a first pitch, and that's in for a strike. Death now. You can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Out towards right center field, Hanniger on the move. Nice now, grab on the run. Runner tags for home. That's a second Not bad timing. If that's a better throw, maybe it gets there in time, but. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball and just that couldn't get it to drop in. The catcher, JT. Real first small ball run that uh, Philadelphia has had in this JT entire Real series Mito comes in, in the first inning of game in number there, three. And that On the first. And okay, Mito so 15 pitches, not terrible. Couple of hits. I maybe sh well. I guess you know what. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, turning two at the hmm. turning two on that uh, that grounder early in the in the inning to get out number one. Obviously, that's huge. That's what you want. But I don't know that. I don't know that throwing it to second would have worked. Maybe it would have. You know what? No, take the guaranteed. Next offering um, upstairs. What? Okay. Four seam, a knuckle curve, circle change, sinker, cutter. Well struck right field. That's back. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. Into second base, the tying um, run is on with a leadoff no. double. I made the correct call. Get the guaranteed out. Me, just and just kind of hope you can warm your work your way out of that situation. It's fine. Much, it's fine. Just stay disciplined. Got the barrel to the ball and put it in play. Here's Adam Frazier, good defender. He's been inconsistent second, offensively. The second baseman, Adam. In there Frazier. for strike one. All ones the count. Right-hander kicks deals, and that's downstairs and outside. We got a real tight miss. strike zone going on here. That's the second should have been strike. Call the ball. 
Bounce to the right. Oh, that's a bit of an unfortunate result there. That's probably one you can let go. You got kind of a weird starting lineup here for the Mariners in today's game. Factor for them in recent games, Abraham Toro. Well, he's in pretty good company right now on that AL leaderboard for home runs. Top five for the guy, and he's one of the better home run hitters in the league this year. You don't see him missing too many pitches, and when he gets the one that he wants, he doesn't miss it. It goes a long way. Came through uh, last night. That's fine. Stands in now and Low in the zone. For a strike. On the ground to third. He's going to make a break for home. You know what? I'll take that. I'm all right with it. I'll take the manufactured run right there. A little surprised that he, that Haggerty went home. Um, I'm glad that he did, though. So two down now, and here is Mitch Hanneker with three hits so far in the series, and he's knocked in three runs as well. That one's in there, 0-1. Way behind that. Damn it. Wouldn't have done a whole lot with it on that particular pitch, but way outside. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Tied up here in the early going. Oh, early on the curve. Circle change. Damn it. Oh, we got pulled off the bag, though. The bag and the inning still alive. We all know that that first inning can be a critical one in terms of guys settling in and the tone being set for the game. So this isn't what you're looking for on defense. Two out errors are a lot like two out walks, but maybe even worse because your pitcher did his job to get what should have been the last out of that inning. Dylan Moore stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Righty delivers. Ooh, swing big swing miss. on that knuckle curve. Oh, gross. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. A little roller up along first. Well, we're not able to take advantage of the error. And that'll do it. Pretty gross at bat, a lot of knuckle curves and yeah. one hit. We drove in uh, one run. Gregorius, I believe, here is gonna. Yes, he is. And now, D.D. Gregorius. A lot of guys get the day off against a tough lefty like this one, but D.D. Gregorius actually hits lefties pretty well. He gets the nod today. Bounced up the middle. Haggerty collects. One out in second. Batting seven. The third baseman, number seven. Johan Camargo. Johan Camargo. That hits the dirt. Fuck off. No. Next offering is in for a strike. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Batting it. The center fielder, number 24. Roman Quinn. Two outs, base is empty. Roman Quinn up here now. And that's in there for strike one. That's a good looking circle change right there. Go sinker low outside. Foul away, that's fine. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. 
Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Fuck off. The next oh, offering out. misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Bounced out to short. On to France. And it's a one France will uh, reach out Billy's there to grab, uh, the grab out number Score three. Time, one, one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Abraham Toro. The Mariners, the third baseman. The pitch. Toro. God damn it, that knuckle curve. Foul. Fuck. A one down. Line drive, base hit. That'll work. A little early on the circle change, but enough power to get it out to uh, right field. Nice line drive to pull side, no met it out front, but just stick through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now here is Jake Fraley. First Oof, way inside. Freely didn't budge on. and somehow didn't hit him. And the pitch. Damn. Damn. That's the pitch that I'm looking for right there. And it is two and one. Toro, the board here at first with nobody out. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Oh my Dirt. fucking God, John, no. Oh no, 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 no. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, He's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the ball. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back I don't there. think it's going to get out. Is it gone? It's hey, gone. it's gone. Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy. You may have a dislocated shoulder in real life, but in the digital world, you're hitting another home run. And I'm yelling at you for the way you call games behind the dish. Either way, two run shot. This kind of velocity is so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over I mean, that's basketball. right where I wanted. I didn't think this one was going to get out. So one out, nobody on. Dom Thompson-Williams up next for the Mariners. The center fielder. John. Oh, yeah, that one oh. fouled off. That's a good one. Base is empty. There we go. There we go. Smash it through. Smash it through, T. Williams. Um, that's a good feeling home run. After a terrible swing with Fraley to get one, not even just like to just even get contact. Doesn't necessarily have to get out of the ballpark. Obviously, that's what you want, but. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Back to the top of the Seattle order. And now for Seattle, Sam Haggerty. In there, and it's 0-1. Usually right where I'm Still looking only for him. out here in the inning. Next Ooh. Oh, this my is God. Defensively, where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Ooh, that's Swing not good. Up, popped up left side. And wow. that is foul. Mercifully, it was just foul. Actually, surprisingly good timing. Two, two down. A foul ball, he stays alive. Right.
Heidi to the play. Stays oh. Alive. Damn it. That's a miss right there. That's a miss on that fastball. Nope, 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 nope. Everybody, everybody sit. Everybody sit. Today we have a car engine revving in the background. The battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the event. Get on the ground might be two. Segura. No, they will on just the go for the one. Over to first, and that is out number two. Definitely missed a pitch in that at bat. I believe it was pitch number six. One yeah, of them was like right under. Uh, maybe it's not a car. Maybe it's like a dirt bike or something. Adam Frazier up next for the Mariners. Grounded Finally, the weather is nice shot. enough for you to do whatever the fuck they're doing. All right, Frazier. Pitch That's inside. inside. Ball one. I just, it was like right there. Just a little early on that. Next off that's outside. Misses, and that's ball two. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Two outs and one in scoring position. To the right side. Segura picks it up. Sends it to first. Frazier hmm. retired. A little and lower on the... Uh, Two come in on this Seattle homer. It's Location, the look there. Hey, fell down one nothing. Getting some runs across here. Did leave a good speed in scoring position. Inning. That's so unfortunate, but Philadelphia, Nick Philadelphia. hey, that's gonna happen sometimes. Gonzalez back to work on the ground to the left. Fires to first on the run. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. Good speed from Segura. There's a swing and a drive. Yeah, that one was. And that, one's gone. that one was awful. That was a hideous pitch. Um, just not enough speed out there and left to. To get that one home, so or to get that one robbed. Yeah, that one. That one was a bad pitch. Not even mad about it. I saw it coming out of the hand. Was just it was way too fast on the the wind up and. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you gotta love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. And first offering is fouled off. Not fast enough out there. And now the lefty. Strike two. That one lifted to left. Pays hit as he pulls up. Wow. And it gets by him. Around second now, going for three. He's safe at third, and the tying run is 90 feet away. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, but base hit. Harper stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Oh, that got him on the mound. Throws to first. Harper retired. Gonzalez going to be okay here. number 17. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And first offering is I would Bell. love it if you'd stop calling circle changes, please. Too fast. Stubbs on third with two out. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Runner from third comes across. It's 3-3. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back now up. Batting. A well-deserved double on a great swing. 18. Got everything going on Real time. Easy. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And now it is JT Real Muto. 
Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is Obviously, the Segura home run like kind of sucks, but that was just a really, really bad pitch. Um, that one, I'm, that one, I'm okay with. The misread in left with Fraley, that was my fault. I just ran poorly. I thought maybe I'd be able to get to it. Uh, the game really likes animations that, like, where they like extend and like kind of reach for it when they get close to the ball. Um, yeah. That kind of sucked. Got the triple, made it really easy to get in to uh, uh, get that run in. Another two strike hit though, um, with you know a couple outs or at least an out. Thankfully, well, I guess it was. It would have been two outs. It was with two outs, so that that sucks. Gonzalez sacrificed his hand a little bit to keep one of the balls. Uh, one of the balls from getting into the outfield and preventing the run from scoring momentarily, but wasn't enough. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck off. God damn it. Fuck. I mean, that's exactly... Uh, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I fucking want. Ooh, behind on that knuckle curve, gross. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Kicks and deals. Got him. Two away. Big swing and a knuckle curve. Should have seen it coming. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Abraham. Out there to Got center. under that one. Quinn moving under it. That was a circle change. It was right over the heart of the plate. I think if that's a uh, that's a just a contact swing, it does something. Can't afford to be falling apart now. Fell behind one, scored three. Hold this shit down, man. Come on. Now here is Didi Gregorius. Leading off for the pitch. The designated hitter. Just With so much focus on Gregorius and uh, Harper, it makes it easy for guys like Gene Segura to kind of, kind of, you know, slide under the radar a little bit. Maybe you, you know, too worried about. Okay, gotta get, gotta make sure I get this out so that I don't have to face Harper with runners on or you know whatever the scenario is. Not you know, no disrespect to Segura at all, but. Johan Camargo with the dish. Take advantage of a bad pitch as someone who's maybe not paying full attention and in there. Bing bang boom. You cut the lead down to one. Bad running in the outfield. Next offering is fucking the strike. sinker is looks so bad right now. And a pitch. And now one and two. Next one in the dirt. Put him away. Come on, man. And a pitch. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. Another two strike hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play late. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Quinn. In the box with one away as he takes ball one. Ground ball could be two to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam and they end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. Leading and leading off, off the bottom Mariners. of the fourth, Jake Fraley. The left fielder, Jake. The right Fraley. hander back to work. Swing God damn middle. fucking Strike knuckle ball. curve. Like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The hitter I'm getting frustrated. Getting really frustrated with myself. 
really frustrated with myself right now. A little bit more off, see if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Here's the O2. Little bouncer out in front of the plate, and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Left hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. Here we go. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Next pitch is in the dirt. That's the first and ball, by the way. Is ball one. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. Next offering is foul back. Got me with that knuckle curve. Damn it. Way too early on it. No doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone. The catcher just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That was a four seam fastball down the direct. Just right down Main Street, and I was late on it. Out to short. Maytom collects it. That's easy, easy single. Play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. With the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect, and right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. Stepping in, Sam Haggerty. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That smash towards center. He's got it. Damn it. That is that. Mariners leave one. Still tied. Three and three. Damn it. Come on. New inning getting started, and now for the Phillies, Nick Maytom. Leading off for the Phillies. pitch, the shortstop. Ball and one, no up. strikes. Maytom. Next offering upstairs. He's been consistently missing that call all night. Normally, I'd be more frustrated with it, but swing and a pop up. He can't get Kay. there. And that oh my fucking crazy. god! Game, when I hit LT, when I press this button right here, fucking switch the player, you stupid fuck. So digging in, Gene Segura. Right side, Frazier gloves it, tosses the first, one away here in the fifth. Garrett. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First pitch, and that's in. I just don't understand how the sinker is that fast. Spoke to right, but he's got it. The tag, safe. It's 4-3. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, Takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is Harper. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Next pitch inside, ball two. Swing and a miss. And it's I just gave up on that other circle change. I'd... Fouls one off. Two and two. In the air, left field. Fraley drops steps, heads back up. And that is that. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies four and the Mariners three. We 
head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Leading off for the Mariners. The wind of the, the pitch. second baseman, Adam. That's Frazier. out to center field. And it drops That's a little, but a good job. It's a little Hitting drop. That's what I want to see right there. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already no, is baseman. bat Number stays in the zone on plane oh. for an extended period of time. Great. And guys like that. They have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough. Damn it, right into a double play. And he can't come up with it. To first, and he's, he's still out at first. For the love of God, well, Ty France. Ty France, oh my fucking God. <laughs> How are you that two. slow? Good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Holy shit. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Swings through that one. Huge oh, fucking one. idiot swing Good right there. pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. This one in the air, center field. Quinn puts it away. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor yeah, like him, he is looking he forward to making up for it in his next yeah. at bat. Line, and that's a base hit. Frazier headed for the plate. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 4-4. 4-4, four, four, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, wait, hold on. Why? What? No, stop, stop, stop. Stop that. God. I... Sorry, phone went off. The third baseman, number 13, Abraham. No! Got a little too amped up there. Too excited. Next pitch misses inside. And now it's like buzzing and like the lights, like the flashlights like going off. Like what the, what's happening? Then he's a spam risk and you're like, well, that's all right, cool. This to center field. Quinn makes the catch. And Bad swing. Do it. But the Bad FBI swing. Hey, Dylan Moore, around. thank you, man. It's Thanks for coming tied, through. Four, four. Uh, thank you, Adam Frazier. Thanks for getting on. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. For Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, number and a pitch. 17. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hanniger makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batting. Catcher, JT Real Muto. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Next pitch is popped up. And that's a base hit. Just a couple little flares out past hey, the third and the first baseman. Toro and France. That one on the mound made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. Tied at four. And there's a the ball. One and one. He's going, he's going. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Got him. He's out as shit. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me? Get out of here. That's some weak ass shit right there. He's out by a mile. And a ball in two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Have I thrown anything up in the zone? Not really. The 2 2. God 
Stays alive. I think I had him late on it, so I guess at least he wasn't expecting it. The two two. Out to there short. we go. Okay. On to France. That ends the frame. Seven eight nine two up in the home half of the inning, and we are tied four four. Tom Murphy, Dom T Williams, Tom and Dom. Pitcher on three. here. Bailey Fulton. Okay, this lefty pitcher will favor me with uh, Tom Murphy. Where are we in this game? It seems like it's been taking a little bit longer. Bottom six, okay. Four seam, slider, change up, two seam. Big nine pitch at bat last time we saw. Fraley. Drop, 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 drop. Oh, it stayed in the air a little longer than I thought. Looking for a bloop shot from Fraley, but uh, no such luck. Now, here's where things get interesting, or at least in my favor here. That one's in there, own one. Movement in the bullpen. Yoan Lopez. Up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Brogdon getting loose as well. That changeup really drops. The wind of the pitch. Good Play eye inside. Right there. In the air, left I'll get side. slapped out for an easy out there. And there's two away. And up next for Seattle, Dom Thompson, Thompson Williams. Two for ten in the series. First offering and it just misses. I mean, if he's throwing stuff right at the top of the zone right there, the the umpire has been willing to call balls ball on stuff hit. that probably should be strikes. Favors me leaving my thumb really off the button. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper Short with the middle shot. of the infield and Fair. took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Sam Haggerty. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Line drive. Oh, I wanted to get it just over One his head. Fuck. Score remains tied at four. Back in Seattle, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Johan Camargo. That's in there, and that is strike one. Camargo. Hit weakly on the ground. Get there. Fires over to first. Thank God he only had 26 feet. Hitter in the seven. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over. Roman Quinn stands in for the Phillies. The switch hitter batting right. In there and it's Ooh, wow, right. that is a generous strike right there. Off the bases. On the ground, right side. France steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Now batting. Two outs, base is empty. The batter will be the shortstop. Nick Maytom, one for two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Frazier makes the God. Pitch. And Ooh. I didn't think you could have two scares in one play, but I sure did right there. I heard the crack of the bat and I went, <gasps> and then I saw him kind of overrun and I went, <gasps> no, please don't. Get a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Connor Brogdon. Number 75. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Leading off for the Mariners. The pitch. The second baseman. And he pumps it a strike. Frazier. And the 0 1. That's a terrible middle. swing right there. That's strike two. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. 0 oh, 2 now. And that's down and away. One and two. Mm, I don't know if the Castillo is going to be an option here. 
the one two. Everybody's getting a day off tomorrow. We'll see you back uh, here on Friday. We're, we're going NL East to NL East teams. Phillies to Mets. And it's caught for the out. The first baseman, number 23, Tom. And now for Seattle, Ty France. In there for strike one. That one hammered left go. field. Go, 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 go. Pulls it in on the warning track. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get right about fielder. 10 minutes of balls Mitch. in the gaps. Hedegar. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Hanniger, the next to hit, takes ball one. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Here comes a pitch. So two balls and no strikes. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Bad Foul swing. There. Real bad swing right there. Pitch is popped up. Hoskins under it. It's exactly the pitch I was looking for. That four seam fastball up in the zone, and I missed it. God damn it. Why did I switch to the power swing? It doesn't have to be home runs. You can get home runs off of contact swings. Son of a fucking bitch, Sean. Oh my God! God damn it! Pitch. And there's a strike. Well, I, say it's the best pitch I got a little flustered with that 12 6 curve and elected to skip the last few pitches there. Uh, did not throw the circle change that he has. Sends it across the first, first out in the top of the eight. So up next, Garrett Stubbs. That one lifted to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high now leverage that. spot right there. Right now, a huge at bat right. in this game coming up. Perfect. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. To second, but he beats the throw. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw. What the fuck? I did not hear. I did not hear the run. The run call there. And the camera. That seemed like it was an odd camera angle. I think maybe it was because I was delayed on it on a, a, a kind of on accident. Deal one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. All right, we're okay. Next pitch misses. We're less okay. Sliding towards not great. Wow, what the fucking shit! This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And he did. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. 
Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. First pitch just misses. Ripped on the ground a second. Looks like it's wow. Stones. Wow. He'll score the Phillies. Take the lead. Wow. In there safely. Mission accomplished there as he picks up. Hell of an effort there by uh, by Adam Frazier, but. Damn it. That's a big miss. That's two out damage right there. Crazy. So two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. JT Real Muto. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Runner leads away at second. Rips one to right. And that's a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Okay. Can we please just get an out here? What the fuck? What the absolute fucking fuck? Here's DD now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Looking for some I, I hate your zone, dude. It's starting to get really irritating. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. One and two here. That one ripped. Back there. Banks off the wall. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real. New pitcher for the Mariners, Casey Satton. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Camargo at the plate now. That's ball one. The next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Gregorius at second with two down. And of course, it was DD Gregorius giving me uh, more trouble in this series. The 2 0 oh is in for a strike. That's where I find this game to be the most frustrating. I just, it's when you can't, you just can't get that last out. And it's second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Damn. But three Damn. Two of them on this two run double. Didi Gregorius is, uh. Four ball game. He's been effective against me this entire series. Drives in two more runs, and uh, the Mariners not looking good here. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jose Alvarado hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days the off. Hitter. And the pitch. Four. The lead off Stop swinging. Stop fucking swinging. Yo, one. Stirring in the Phillies. I mean, the good news is swung at the sinker, obviously way late. Not a great swing at all. Like, it's frustrating. But it's at least on the edge of the zone. 12-6 curve. Should have just let it go. Sinker, cutter, 12-6, and a four seam. Uh, two of those pitches hit 100 miles an hour. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to Hoskins. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in for the Mariners, Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and let the ball get deep. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Fraley stands in now, looks at that one inside. Second for one. What a 
double play that was. Inning over. Through eight full. It's the Phillies seven and the M's four. at T-Mobile Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging the in is the Come on. Roman Quinn. Roman. The wind of the pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Why are you bunting? The 0-1. Nope. And that one a little bit high. Slap the other way, foul. One, two now. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through. You <laughs> he fucking shitting me. Come on. God fucking damn it. They find every gap in the world and I can't get one fucking break. Fuck you. Fuck you. Out away. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, we battled so tough in this one, and it just Next offering just is fell down. apart in the eighth. That's I can't fall apart there. I can't fall apart in the eighth Nobody inning of these games. Late. Two count, you've got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Routed to third, could be two. Fires to second for one. Relay to first, double play. Now back the second base. Segura in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And now it's even up. Rolled slowly to first. France handles the chance. He takes it on his own. And the Phillies are set down in okay. eight, nine, one, so a disastrous three-run eighth is uh, probably going to seal it. We're going to win the series, but we won't get the sweep. We have Mont Murphy. Dom T. Williams is coming up. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Leading up for the Mariners, the catcher. And here it comes. Murphy. Popped up. Maton should have this one. Drops into the glove. No, I mean, There's really, no away. reason to swing right there. Only being able to score four runs on ten hits. Dom Thompson Williams. Dom Thompson Williams. First pitch, not close. Swing Ooh, big, miss. big, big oh, hack right one. there. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. The next offering misses, and a count two and one. In the air to left, down the line. Huh. So, I thought that score. actually was going to be a lot better than that was. We gave up six earned runs in the first two games of this series combined. Seven given up today. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Haggerty. Seattle leadoff man, Sam Haggerty. Come on, Mariners. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Next one just misses. 
Now what a two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Just one strike away. In the air out to center. And he's got it. Ball game. Three pop outs the in the ninth to end the game. The of this three game series. Spoil the opportunity for us to open uh, this uh, pack, uh, card pack. Top's heritage. Those will go back. Uh, those at least, those will show up later if we have another or more um, opportunities. This was uh, some defensive blunders that came back to bite me. I did not hear the uh, the steal call there in the eighth. Um, a really bad pitch to Segura. The Hoskins double was pretty frustrating. It's just a lot of the same issues. Um, uh, no, I can't get outs with two strikes. I'm struggling to get out of innings with two outs. They're finding all the gaps that I just can't seem to locate at all. Uh, probably because they're like good at the game. Um, I don't know. I Garrett Stubbs was three for three with a triple, a ribby, and scored twice. Reese Hoskins was two for three with two doubles, three ribbies, and a run. Gene Segura was two for five with a home run. Scored twice. Gregorius, one for four with a double and two ribbies. Um, Drew Steckenrider is going to get the loss. Pitched two-thirds of an inning, gave up four hits, three earned runs. Connor Brogdon, one inning pitched, clean zeros after that. And Corey Kniebel gets save number 10 on the season. Disappointing again to the season, or uh, to the series, excuse me. And, uh... We'll move on. We'll move on. We'll have a day off and then we'll go take on the Mets in New York. Um, and uh, that, that kind of does it. I don't have a whole lot to say about this game. Some defensive errors early in that game. I didn't hear the steal call. I think that was in the eighth as well. Uh, but a couple of just really well-placed balls with a couple of, with two outs, um, especially in the eighth, that, that two run double was really frustrating, but didn't do well enough with, my at bats and the opportunities that I had um, at the plate missed some pitches here and there, um, hit into some really terrible double plays. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of uh, Mariners baseball. Usually, you know, a, a lot of times I try to just weather the storm, give up a lot of hits, but don't break. Uh, today we broke a little bit, had some. Had some spots where they were able to get uh, get some get some solid hits in. Um, obviously, early in that game, we I goofed up a pitch to Segura. He took it deep, and then I'm immediately the next at bat missed a uh, play with Fraley in left field. It's a uh, it's frustrating. It's um you know I was excited because I wanted to open the cards. I wanted to get a sweep. And to just to have it go like that, to have a three-run lead and they get outscored six to one over the rest of the game, that is uh, that is frustrating. We're four and six in our last ten. Thankfully, everybody else in the division is still struggling. Uh, we'll actually go here to the calendar and we will sim through that date. Auto fix the lineups. Auto fix the lineups. Auto, uh, and we will get uh, we'll get you set with some standings here as we move into. Uh, the next series against New York, Chris Flexen one and two with a three two ERA, three point two zero ERA, taking on David Peterson, one and three with a five zero three ERA. Uh, as the Seattle Mariners are going to travel to the twenty eighteen New York Mets, taking a quick look at the standings, still not great. Um, last ten at best is five and five, worst three and seven. The yeah, Angels really struggling over the last ten games. We have not played particularly well either um may has been a struggle but uh we'll look to pick it up on a road trip we're starting against a left-handed pitcher it looks like so that is good news for the mariners uh thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed sorry that we didn't get to open cards today 
kind of blew it in the eighth, but that is how it goes sometimes. If you want more Mariners baseball, you can tune in right here on YouTube.com slash Rex every single day at 7 p.m. Pacific time uh, if the Mariners are playing. So, you know, be sure to do that. Subscribe, ring the bell, do all that good stuff. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, go game, good sports, and go Mariners.